think last time at least I got a little Debbie snacks. Oh, you did? I did. I should have brought you. I should have Hi, my name is Carl Crawford. My name is Helen Davis. Salam Witherspoon. My name is Simbarina Witherspoon. So Ubuntu. I am because we are. What does that mean to you? And in your life, where do you see it? Ubuntu. A couple different words come to mind. I would say collective humanity, reciprocity, basically just for the common good. I feel like unity, you know, coming together with, with one another, one accord, uh, working together as in the in the field. Everybody uh, have like come to the table as the same thought, you know, uh, making sure that we have share each different thoughts of how to be in a, in a unity, running the community, and um, not to go behind each other and just do what we need to do to make it better here. You know, like you said, uh, this whole, you know, this world make it better. I am because we are. I, I like that phrase a lot, actually, because it, it um, correlates with, like, my belief system and knowing that whatever I do will directly affect my children and whatever they do are going to affect me. The golden rule, do unto others that you want done unto you. Because as soon as we realize that we are all interconnected in this journey, we start to believe in each other, we start to rely on each other, and we stop throwing away each other. Like, originally, like, I wanted to talk about, like, intergenerational stuff because, you know, I have four generations in my family that was raised in Duluth, and all of our stories are different. Like, you know, my brothers were athletes, they've had way different lifestyles than me, and way more opportunities and advancements from, like, people who they knew. Being a single mother, I, you know, I'm in poverty, like I'm, you know, that directly put me, because we grew up middle class, but then once I had my own children, it put me in poverty. And so I was, I had to face a whole new world that I never knew. Oh my gosh, it was like a lifeline for so many different aspects. I would say, you know, it's as far as um, gardening for sub to be, you know, for our upcoming generations to be self-reliant. Um, housing for individuals who need a helping hand. I mean, just funding towards anything that's going to help us be on a balanced playing field so we can all get to the same, you know, common good. I want to talk about uh, funding for housing here in this community. Housing is so sad here. The vouchers here at uh, Housing um, HRA is really poor because you cannot find a voucher for one bedroom is only seven to six to seven hundred dollars and your maximum don't even go to eight hundred and people are struggling to live in something decent i even searched for housing uh not too long ago and looking for one bedroom you have to live in a slump i don't want to live that way so i know how people feel what about us what about us ones in property it's often said as people of color it's we're often you know, a circle being put into a square peg. But if you've ever done that before, there's those spaces in between that square that we just can't reach. Mm -hmm. So we need money and funding and the opportunity to reach those goals, that check that was never promised and written to us as people of color. For me, it's the acknowledgement piece. Like, okay, finally, like, you're actually recognizing that I'm human, that I deserve a chance, that maybe my life is worth donating $50,000, you know, which in all actuality, you know, that's a drop in the bucket, if that. There's an amazing song in our community, If I Rule the World, and it talks about how I would grab all my sons and daughters mm -hmm. and create a world where they walk on the level playing field. Mm -hmm. An opportunity to really chase that dream, the American dream that's been so distant from people of color. Well, if I had some funders, I, would, I always wanted to open a facility up for the community, for people who are in the need, and not just for the need, just for people who um, have different people that come to work with me, to have a team where we can um, make this uh, community grow. We need funding for education, for health care, for employment and opportunities. Um, 
family is not just blood related. No. Um, and rather than focusing on our differentialities, let's focus on commonalities. Exactly. Because us as the human race, that that itself, um, mm -hmm. the human race that um, that's huge, and it, we're a family here on planet Earth. And so, therefore, rather than focusing on you know the color of our skin, which is so minute, out of so many other things that could be focused on, let's focus on the um, you know, you know what I'm saying, focusing on what we have in common and building off of that. You yeah. know what I'm Ubuntu, I am yes we are. There, there it is. Mm -hmm. She just said it. That's a wrap. <laughs> wow. And once again, I don't mean to be redundant. Or <laughs> that's her favorite word. It's not her favorite word. <laughs> she, she told me about the interview and she's like, I'm like, I'm gonna be using redundant, <laughs> <laughs>